What up guys and welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. For today's quickie recipe, I've actually got a copycat recipe. So one of the biggest questions that I always get from y'all is, Kev, how do you come up with so many different recipes? Well, one thing that I always tell y'all is like, hey, I love to eat out. I love to experience new cuisines because sometimes eating out can just inspire something else. And so it's all about the experience with food. So today, we're gonna do just that. Last week, I was in a conference and I came back home and I was starving after getting off of the plane. It was pretty late and definitely did not feel like cooking, so got into my Uber Eats app and ordered some food from a place really close by in the Dallas Farmer's Market, a spot called Mud Hen. And decided to be adventurous, try something new, and I'm so glad that I did. I had this dish called Moroccan cauliflower. So basically, it was a fried cauliflower dish with some beautiful um, curry aioli. So after I devoured that meal in about 3.2 seconds, I thought, man, this would be great for me to try to make myself. So that's what we're gonna try to do today. So for this video, I went ahead and ordered some Uber Eats again, went and reordered the Moroccan cauliflower, and this is what it looks like with this beautiful yellow curry-based aioli. And it's just ridiculously dank in terms of flavor and color and there's a slight bit of sweetness with the aioli but the cauliflower is just perfectly cooked it's tender but the outside is a little bit crispy this reminded me of great game watching or entertainment watching food so today i thought about recreating this dish here in my kitchen to show you all how you can take inspirations from places where you eat and bring them right back home and make them real for you. Today we're gonna to be making some Moroccan inspired air fried cauliflower with our very own aioli. All right, if you are ready to roll up your sleeves and get your hands dirty, then let's get started. This stuff is so addicting. Okay, quick question though, you know, before we get started. What is orange, um, fudge. What is orange and sounds like a parrot? <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is prep our cauliflower. So start out with a head of cauliflower. If you wanna save some time, you could actually just buy the florets. This actually is the cheapest way to go. All you're gonna do is just chop off the florets, just like this. And we actually don't want the pieces this big, so we're gonna slice these in half and really just make sure that all the big chunks have been removed. Then we're gonna add this to a bowl. All right, so now we've got our florets here in a bowl. Now let's add some personality. So the one from Mud Hen is a Moroccan inspired cauliflower. If you have a Moroccan spice rub that you'd like to use or even a Moroccan sauce, you can put that onto the cauliflower. Here, I'm just gonna put a couple of spices together that I think are Moroccan inspired flavors. So we're gonna add in a little bit of cumin, a little bit of coriander, dash of cinnamon, and a little bit of heat with some cayenne. Then, as an optional ingredient, I find this is very helpful whenever you are faux frying things in your air fryer or, or actually in your oven, and that is a little bit of arrowroot starch. If you don't have arrowroot, you could use a little bit of cornstarch or some tapioca flour, but again, this is an optional ingredient. I just find that it helps the outside to crisp up just a little bit better. Now, you want to use a high smoke point oil. What that means is basically an oil that would be suitable for frying. So olive oil would not be the best oil here. If you have olive oil and that's all you have, then go ahead and use that. But things like coconut oil or avocado oil, sunflower oil, or even safflower grapeseed oils are great for this type of low frying. So I'm gonna add in a tablespoon or two of some oil. Going to mix everything together. Get your hands dirty, get that all in there. And you wanna make sure that every piece of cauliflower is touched by the oil and the seasonings. I have a convection oven that doubles as an air fryer, so this is the air frying basket. Um, you can put this in your air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer at all, then you can use just um, a baking tray lined with some parchment paper or some foil, all right? and add in our cauliflower. More you spread the cauliflower florets out, the easier it will be for them to get super crispy 
We're gonna air fry this for 30 minutes and we're gonna shake it halfway through to make sure that all the sides are actually getting cooked and they're not burning. And we're gonna put this at a temperature of at least 400. You know, I'm gonna use 420. So in tasting this aioli that comes with it from Mud Hen, this is definitely a curry-based aioli. Very salty. A little bit of, um, a little bit of sweetness, but Definitely a lot of heat, a lot of pepper. Now this challenge, again, is all about trying to recreate and chase an experience. And so I went to my pantry and I did not have any curry. I'm so embarrassed to even say that, but I did have some chipotle pepper. So I'm gonna show y'all how to do the exact same thing, but do it with some chipotle instead. So the first thing we're gonna add to our aioli are egg yolks. So I'm going to separate out the egg white. We'll need about two of these at least. Add some fresh lemon. I love some garlic, so we're gonna add in three garlic cloves. If you don't like as much garlic, just add in two. I'm gonna do a little pinch of sugar, and then we're gonna add in a little bit of chipotle sauce, but I find it just easier just to add in one whole pepper, depending on how much spice you like. So I'm gonna add in one pepper. If you like it a little spicier, then you can add in two. Mm. All right, now we're gonna blend this up and I would wait to add any salt and pepper just because chipotle is already very salty. Same thing if you do add in some curry paste, it's already seasoned very well and so you don't wanna over season it. So I'm gonna put this on, we're going just to post blend this. Lightly blend it up and gradually increase the speed. We just wanna make sure that the garlic is chopped up, that the, um, the chipotle pepper is all chopped up. Listen, I'm talking right now. This is how quiet the machine is. I love this thing. This is like my new favorite kitchen gadget. It's so quiet. <laughs> now the final ingredient to add to our aioli is going to be some oil. I'm gonna add in some avocado oil. Add it to your favorite squirt bottle for condiments and it should be this really nice creamy texture right here. Just like that and the cauliflower is freshly fried. It looks beautiful. These are so great because they're crispy on the outside, but they're very fragile, they're very tender. And then finish it off with a little salt bay action. Last but not least, of course, we're gonna top it off with our delicious aioli. Oh my God, look at that. All right, now for the ultimate taste test comparison. Got the one here from Mud Hen. Look, the cauliflower is actually pretty similar. Got the vibrant yellow. Uh, I wish y'all could just feel the way that my fork felt. It started to crack a little bit because it's just mm. so much, it's so crispy around the edges. Oh, here we go. <laughs> mm. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. This is why I like to eat out and I like to indulge sometimes and have treat meals or just have another meal outside of the house. It's okay to do that because when you eat out, it leads to inspiration. And that's what this journey is all about, getting variety and finding other ways to challenge yourself in the kitchen and also into closer to those wellness goals, but in a much more calorie conscious yet delicious way. So comment below how you would tweak this recipe. I especially want to hear from those of y'all who want to do a curry version of the aioli and to bring out that beautiful, rich color and also flavor of curry. All right, guys, if you like videos like this, then I invite you to please hit that like button and remember to subscribe to the channel. And hey, why don't you invite somebody else to subscribe too so that you all can get healthy and happier together. And don't forget to ring that bell so you can also be notified every time we post hot new content here. All right, guys, I hope that y'all enjoyed this copycat makeover recipe. Until next time, I want y'all to keep it healthy, but of course, never, ever boring. Ooh! Bye, guys.